Kay here at Little Learners. We are here for our 29th Cyber Circle. Ready to start? Come on and join me. Join me at the carpet, please. Find your special place. Cross your legs, no wiggles, please. And show your smiling faces. Oh, we're glad we came to school. Yes, we are. Oh, we're glad we came to play. Yes, we are. We'll make friends and we will share. We'll take turns everywhere. Oh, we're glad we came to school. Yes, we are. Oh, we're glad we came to school. Yes, we are. Oh, we're glad we came to play. Yes, we are. We will paint and we will sing. We'll play games and other things. Oh, we're glad we came to school. Yes, we are. Well, boys and girls, are you ready to help me figure out what comes next in our calendar pattern? So let's see what our pattern has been. It has been fish, boat, sun. Fish, boat, sun. Fish, hmm. Now we need to look to see what comes after a fish. This comes after this fish. This comes after this fish. So we need one of those down here. What was that? A boat. That's right. We need a boat to come next in our pattern. So let's take a look at our boat for our calendar. If you know what number is on our boat, put up your quiet hand. Good job. Now let's see. I think it is the number... Did you say eight? Yes, it's the number eight. Start with an S and then don't wait. Race back to the gate and make a number eight. Let's tuck that right in there. All right, my friends, it's time for us to say all of those numbers' names. Are you ready? Remember, I'm going to use my pointer here and you are going to follow along. And when you see it, I want you to say it. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good counting. Give yourselves a big clap. Pat your back. Give yourself a hug and a great big kiss. Mwah! Wiggle those fingers high. Wiggle them low. to see two wiggly fingers over here. So wiggle two fingers over here. And how many do we need to wiggle over here? Is one enough? Two? Three? Four? We need all five wiggly fingers over here. Good job. Two plus five equals seven. Seven days in a week, seven days in a week, seven days in a week, and I know them all. I do know them all, and I bet you do too. I want to see you putting up those fingers and telling me the days of the week. There are seven of them. There is Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Saturday is the last day, and I know them all. Put up the quiet hand again if you know what day it is today. All right, are you ready to do our calendar trick? Let's look at our eight and go up, 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 up. It's an M. For Monday. So we're going to print 
You are going to print on your papers, remember? Get your paper in front of you with your pencil. I've got my chalk and we're going to do it together. All right, so we're going to start up at the top and do a straight line down. Good job. Now take your pencil and put it back up at the top of that line and we're going to slide down to the bottom. Slide down, climb up, and straight down again. There's our uppercase M. The next letter is an O, but it's a lowercase. Because O's are one of those letters that look the same, upper or lower, so we have to make sure it starts low down. So not up here, low down. And we're going to start in the middle and go down down to the bottom then around and back up oh there we go there's our o good job now our next letter is an n and an n is going to start low down too and it's a line down and one bump over one bump our next letter is a d and it starts with a circle so we want our circle to be the same size as our O. So we're going to start in the middle, down to the bottom, around, back up to the middle, and it has a nice long line that touches the side of it. There's our D. Our next letter is an A. And an A starts with a circle too, so we want all of our circles to be the same. So start in the middle, down to the bottom, back up to the top, and an A has just a little line on the side. And last letter in Monday is a Y. So that is twice the fun because we get to slide two times. One little slide, one long slide. So our little slide is going to go this way and our long slide is going to go this way underneath. Good. Now we are going to say our letters names together. Are you ready? Uh, you're going to use Peter Pointer to point to your letters you just printed. And I'm going to use my pointer to point to the letters I just printed. Are you ready? Let's go. M O N D A Y. Good job. Now we're going to point to those letters again with our Peter Pointer and my pointer, but this time we're going to make their sounds. Mmm. Ah. together. Today is Monday the 8th of, do you remember what our month was? J -j June. That's right. It's the month of June. All right, my friends, take a look out your window and see what's the weather. What's the weather? Look outside, all my special friends. Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Snowy or sunny? Snowy or sunny? Let's see what our weather's like. Is it windy outside? 
It is windy outside. Oh, goodness. Is it raining outside? Mm -hmm. It is a little bit rainy outside. There we go. Is it stormy though? It is not stormy. Oh. <coughs> Get the sneezers. Oh my goodness. Is it snowy? It is not snowy. Is it sunny? I am hoping that it will be sunny. I've got a little bit of everything going on out there today. Is it cloudy? It is cloudy. There we go. All right. I need your help. Are you ready to tell me what the weather is like today? Today's weather is cloudy, sunny, rainy, and windy. Yeah, we've been having some rainy weather lately. But remember, that's good because it helps water the grass and the plants and the trees. And then it dries up and goes away. So then we get to play outside. All right, and because it has been like that, guess what my friend's gonna wear? He's gonna wear some rain boots. That's right. So that if there are puddles around town, he can jump in them. And he's going to wear his long pants because it's a little chillier. And he's going to wear his raincoat. Yep, he's gonna wear his raincoat so that he stays nice and dry when he's splashing in those puddles. He's gonna take his umbrella with him and he's gonna wear a rain hat. Whoa, he looks fabulous. He is super duper ready for our weather today. Yeah. It's time to watch and listen. We're going to read a book. We'll sit on the rug and use our eyes to look. We'll look at the pictures, hear the story too. I'm so glad I have this story to share with you. This story is called Peanut Butter and Jellyfish. Mm. So peanut butter is what type of animal that lives under the sea? Seahorse, good job. And his friend Jellyfish. So peanut butter and jellyfish. Peanut butter and jellyfish were the best of friends. Best of friends who spent their days exploring. Explore down and around and through their giant ocean home. Unluckily for them, though, beside them lived Krabby. You guys swim like humans, he would taunt them as they slipped past. Peanut butter and jellyfish did their best to ignore this Krabby Crab. Did you hear something? asked jellyfish. No, it must have just been the current, said peanut butter. But Krabby was relentless. You guys smell like rotten barnacles. P.U. My grandma called. She wants her running, walking shoes back. I've seen sea snails swim with more style. What a bunch of bubbleheads you two are. He's not very nice, is he? Jellyfish puffed up his chest and said, Driftwood and sea stones may break our bones, but words will never hurt us. You're an invertebrate. You don't have any bones. 
Crabby said as he marched along his favorite rock by himself. One day, as Peanut Butter and Jellyfish set out on a new excursion to the Great Reef, they swam past Crabby's perch. They braced themselves for the usual insulting words, but instead, everything was quiet. Then they heard a faint sound of sobbing up ahead. Crabby. He was caught in a lobster trap and he was being lifted up to the surface. I'm scared, he cried out. Surely he was doomed. Should we help? asked Jellyfish. The two friends shared a look. One looked to the other, and the other looked to the other. He is in serious trouble, said Peanut Butter. You're right, we have to help, exclaimed Jellyfish. But how? I have a plan, said Peanut Butter. Follow me. So they swam up to the lobster trap. Peanut Butter used his tail to unlock the trap's gate, but Crabby didn't budge. Come on, you're free, said Peanut Butter. But, but I can't swim, confused Crabby said. I'm afraid of heights. The lobster trap was getting pulled closer and closer to the surface, which meant it was going higher and higher from the bottom of the ocean. Plan B, exclaimed Jellyfish. He worked furiously at un untying the trap's knots. Hurry, hurry, cried Peanut Butter. But I can't see the fish, I can see the fishermen above. Just when all hope was lost, Fisherman's bending into the ocean to get the trap out. The knots came out, sending the trap plummeting. Jellyfish, butter, sorry, peanut butter and jellyfish grabbed hold of it and lowered it safely down to the bottom. Crabby's legs wobbled as he returned to his favorite rock. F -f -f thank you. He said as he stuttered, you know, I'm sorry for saying those mean things, Crabby said. We may have, he may have been afraid of heights, but Crabby was brave enough to apologize. It's important to do that when you do something that's not nice. I guess maybe I was just jealous. You guys, it seems like you guys are always having so much fun exploring the open waters. Well, there's plenty to explore close to the ocean floor, too, said Jellyfish. Peanut Butter and Jellyfish still swam down, down, around and through, but it was on the ocean floor that they found the greatest treasure of all. What did they find on the ocean floor? A new friend! That's right! Krabby was calling them names because he was jealous. But calling names is not nice, so he was very brave and said, I'm sorry. So now they all play together. Always fun to have a new friend. So boys and girls, like I said, today we are doing numbers and letters. So our first one, my friend, are all jellyfish. Look at that. Look, those are all our jellyfish. And on those jellyfish are the numbers that we are going to practice printing. 
So I'm going to practice printing them right here. You're going to practice printing them on your sheet right along with me. And we're going to talk about the little rhyme that goes along with our numbers so that we print them properly. All right, so do you have your page ready? All right, we're gonna start with our first jellyfish and that is the number one. So come right down and that is fun. That's how you make the number one. Good job. Are you ready to do it again? Come right down and that is fun. That's how you make your number one. Good job. All right, so we're gonna erase that one and we're gonna to move to the next jellyfish. Now the next jellyfish has the number two on it. So the rhyme for that is over the rainbow, slide right down, then you run across the ground. Good job. Over the rainbow, slide right down, then you run across the ground. That's our number two. Then the next number is the number three. So remember the number three looks like the bumblebee's wing when we're finished, but it has the bumblebee stinger in the middle as it and around. What will it be? Down and around makes the number three. So there's our pointy stinger in the middle. We don't want it to look like a snake. Not like that. We want it to have a nice point in the middle. So let's try it again. Up and around. What will it be? Down and around makes your number Our next number is our number four. So with a four, we're gonna go down and across and down once more. That's how you make a number four. Down and across and down once more. That's how you make a number four. Our next number is a number five. So the number five starts on the neck. It's a little neck and a belly like that. The number five wears a hat. So let's try that again. A little neck and a belly like that. The number five wears a hat. Remember, he doesn't want to burn his belly. So he's going to put his hat on. Okay, our next number is our number six down here. We're starting the next row of jellyfish. So down and around in a circle we go. That makes a six, don't you know? Try again. Down and around in a circle we go. That makes a six, don't you know? Excellent. Our next one is our number seven. Nice straight lines. So across the sky and slide down from heaven. That's how you make your number seven. And see how we came back to where we started, but down at the bottom? Let's try that again. Across the sky, slide down from heaven. That's how you make the number seven. Now our next one is our number eight. So remember today I said we were gonna do letters and numbers. Well, the number eight starts with a letter. It starts with an S. Start with an S and then don't wait. Race back to the gate and make a number eight. Good job. Start with an S and then don't wait. Race back to the gate and make a number eight. That's our number eight. All right.
right, the next one is my favorite. It's a circle and a line makes the number nine. A circle and a line makes the number nine. Good job. And our last one is a 10. So that's two numbers together. They don't touch, but they stay close together to make one number. It's a one and a zero. So let's try that down uh, together. Come right down and that is fun. That's how you make the number one. Down around the circle we go. That makes a zero, don't you know? So two numbers close together are one, become one number, and this is the number 10. That's right, the number 10. So that's our number tracing page. So all of my friends can do that you trace on top of the numbers that are already there. And then don't forget, I want you to put your name up at the top because we're always practicing our, the letters in our names. So that's our number tracing jellyfish. All right, our next one, my friend, is numbers two, but this time our numbers, we have to count and see which number is the right number. And then we're going to put a circle around it. All right, and look, we're going to start with seahorses. Maybe the one of those is jellyfish from our story. Yeah, he was called jellyfish. So let's count the seahorses together and then we're going to pick which number is the right number. One, two, Three, four, four seahorses. Now we have to look at our, we have a choice of three different numbers at the bottom and we have to see which number is the right number. <gasps> is this the right number? It is, because it went down and across and down once more. That's how you make your number four. So we're gonna circle that four. We're gonna color our jellyfish. Now we're going to go over here, or sorry, our seahorses. Now we're going to count these jellyfish and see how many jellyfish we have. One, two jellyfish. So we have three numbers to choose from again and we have to pick which is the right number and circle it. Is this the right number? That's a four we found out from this one. What about this one? A and around, what will it be? Down and around makes the number three. So that's not the right number. <gasps> there we are, there's the number two over the rainbow, slide right down and run across the ground. It's our number two, so we're gonna circle the number two and color the jellyfish. <gasps> down here we have whales. These are orca whales. Yeah, they're black and white orca whales. And we're going to count them and see if we can pick the right number from our three numbers below. Ready? One, two, three. Three orca whales. Is this a three? That's a five. That's a little neck and a belly like that. The number five wears a hat. What about this number? Nope, down and across and down once more. That's how you make your number four. That's not right. Up and around, what will it be? Down and around makes your number three. So we're gonna circle our number three and color our orca whales. Over here, we have turtles. Yeah, turtles. One, two, three, four, five, six turtles. So now we're going to look down here and see which one of those numbers is the number six and we're going to circle it. So this goes across the sky, slide down from heaven. That's how you make your number 
seven. So that's not the right one. Down and around the circle we go. That makes us six. That's our right number. So we're going to circle around that six and color in our turtles. Good counting, my friends. So that's our under the sea counting. And we're going to put our name at the top. And we get to color all of those wonderful under the sea creatures. The next one is same or different. So we're going to look at some animals that live under the sea and see if they're the same or different. Because they look sort of the same, but they are a little bit different. So this one is same or different. So we're going to look at the first row here first. And we're going to see something in there that is not the same. Hmm. They all have wiggly squigglies underneath. They have happy faces. They have round heads. But what kind of animal under the sea are these? They are octopus. That's right. And this one is a jellyfish. So we are going to circle the jellyfish and we are only going to color the animals that are the same. So we are going to color one, two, three octopuses. That's right. We are not going to color the jellyfish. Then let's look at the next one. We have four fish, but we have one, two, three fish that are, do you remember what those were? Puffer fish. They puff up. That's right. And this one is an angel fish with all her beautiful fins that are long and flowy and rainbowy. So that's an one angel fish and three puffer fishes. So the angel, you know what, instead of circling the ones that are not the same, I think we should put an X in them because we're not going to color them. So instead of circling the jellyfish, we're going to put an X. And instead of circling the angel, we're going to put an X. And then we're going to color one, two, three puffer fish. Now let's look down here in this row. We have animals that look the same, but we have one, two, three orca whales, and we have one dolphin. They both live under the sea, and they like to squirt water out of their blowholes, and they like to jump out of the water and back in again but they are not the same. So the dolphin, we're going to put an X on the dolphin because we're not going to color him, but we are going to color one, two, three orca whales. That's right. Then we are going to look down here at the last line and we have a seahorse, a turtle, a seahorse, a seahorse. Which one is not the same? The turtle, that's right. The turtle is not the same. So we're going to put an X on that turtle. You're right, an X on the turtle. And then we are going to color one, two, three seahorses because they are the same. Turtle is different and seahorses are the same. Same or different, that was that page. And you're gonna put your name up there. All right, before we do our other sheet, my friends, I think we're going to sing our Under the Sea song with all of the animals that we had on our sheets. Are you ready? We're gonna start with our shark. Are you ready? The sharks in the sea go chomp, 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 
chomp, chomp, chomp. Sharks in the sea go chomp, chomp, chomp all through the day. The puffer fish in the sea go puff, 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 puff. Puffer fish in the sea go puff, puff, puff all through the day. Clams in the sea go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. Clams in the sea go open and shut all through the day. Crabs in the sea go click, 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 click. Crabs in the sea go click, 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 all through the day. Octopus in the sea go wiggle, 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 wiggle. Octopus in the sea go wiggle, 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 all through the day. Turtles in the sea go snap, 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 snap. Turtles in the sea go snap, 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 all through the day. Seahorse in the sea rocks back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Seahorse in the sea rocks back and forth, all through the day. Dolphins in the sea go jump, 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 jump. Jump, jump, jump. Dolphins in the sea go jump, jump, jump all through the day. Whales in the sea go squirt, 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 squirt. Whales in the sea go squirt, squirt, squirt all through the day. Lobsters in the sea go pinch, 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 pinch. pinch. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Lobsters in the sea go pinch, pinch, pinch all through the day. Stingrays in the sea go Stingrays in the sea go all through the day. Jellyfish in the sea go bloop, 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 bloop. Jellyfish in the sea go bloop, bloop, bloop all through the day. Good job. Did you follow along with all of our sea animals and the, the actions and sounds they make under the sea? Good job. I have another story to share with you about a shark and an octopus. It's time to watch and listen. We're going to read a book. We'll sit on the rug and use our eyes to look. We'll look at the pictures, hear the story too. I'm so glad I have this story to share with you. Shark kisses and octopus hugs is what my story is called. Shark kisses and octopus hugs. Charlie is a shark and Ollie, or sorry, Olivia is an octopus and they are best friends. The best friends the ocean had ever seen. Oh my goodness, look what they're doing under the sea, my friends. They're playing a game that we like to play at the park. Do you see what that game is? They are playing a game that looks like baseball. Yeah, they have seashells for the bases and they have a little ball and a mitts to catch. And they're batting with some seaweed or coral. Oh, they got a shoe that somebody lost in the ocean and a cage for the bat catcher. While most other fish swam and played, Charlie and Olivia loved to watch the families on the beach. The families seemed to be having so much fun. There they are. So they weren't playing the baseball. 
No, they weren't. Oh, actually they are there. But they'd like to do this better. More than anything, Charlie just wanted a hug. Look at that. Grandmas are hugging her granddaughter. The puppy is hugging the baby. This boy's, this girl's kissing her daddy's nose while her and her brother have covered their daddy up with sand. And this mummy is giving her son a hug. Oh, and this sister's hugging her brother. And Olivia desperately wanted a kiss. They tried the obvious. Look, they put together a booth where some people could come get hugs and kisses. But the boys and girls, they're not so sure. But there were no takers. So Charlie decided to put on a play. Actors always get hugs at the end of their show, he said. Olivia thought she would open an art gallery because artists always get kisses from their fans. Next, Charlie and Olivia offered rides to the kids on the beach, but none of the parents would let their children take a ride. Still, more than anything, Charlie wanted a hug and Olivia desperately wanted a kiss. I have an idea, said Olivia. People love to eat. Let's have a contest to see who can eat the most and the winner will get a big hug. So Charlie and Olivia went to work. Olivia was in charge of the signs and the decorations, and Charlie was in charge of preparing the food. The next day, a very large crowd gathered for the contest, and a little boy asked, what is this stuff? Charlie could hardly contain his pride. Well, it's the most delicious algae souffle that you will ever taste. First prize is a kiss. Second prize is a hug. Everyone just ran away. Now Charlie needed a hug and Olivia needed a kiss. It's all my fault, said Charlie. I'm the one who made the food that no one wanted. There, there, said Olivia, patting his fin. It's not your fault if people don't appreciate good food. But Charlie was heartbroken. So Olivia wrapped all her eight arms around him and gave him a hug. And Charlie puckered up and gave Olivia a kiss. He says, have you had your hug and kiss today? <coughs> so everyone was happy. Look at that. Charlie got his hug and Olivia got her kiss. They didn't need to get them from the people on the beach. They could help each other out. That's what friends do. Friends make friends happy. There you go. Olivia's got her arms around Charlie giving him his hug and Charlie's giving her a kiss on her cheek. So nice. Shark kisses 
and octopus hugs. Yeah, they both got what they wanted. All right, my friends, our last page is we have to color the fish. It says that we are going to color the fish, we're going to color the letters are red and the numbers are yellow. So we have to look at the fish and color them the right color. So I have a shop game. Yeah, I'm going to reach into the Mr. Sharp and we're going to see if you can tell me if it's a number or a letter. Yeah, we're going to see if you can tell me what's what's which is which. We will put the numbers on one side and the letters on the other because numbers are over here and letters are over here. So we're going to see. We're going to say, Mr. Shark, Mr. Shark, what did you eat? Miss K is going to reach in and see what you ate. Oh my goodness. What is this, my friend? Is this a letter or is this a number? It's a letter. Good job. And you know what letter it is? It is the letter T, a lowercase t. I'm going to put that over here. That's our lowercase t. Um, Mr. Shark, Mr. Shark, under the sea. Miss K is going to reach in and let us see. <gasps> Are you ready? Oh. What is that, my friends? That is, is it a letter or a number? A number. Very good. And it is the number three. Good job. It is the number three. We're putting our numbers over there. But there's the number three. <gasps> Mr. Shark, Mr. Shark. Under the sea, Miss K is going to reach in and let us see. Oh, what is that, my friends? That is a, is that a letter or a number? It's a letter. Good job. It's a letter. And what letter is it? It's an uppercase. G, G. It's an uppercase G. So some of our letters on our fish, my friends, are uppercase. Some of them are lowercase. So you're going to have to look very carefully to decide, is it a number or a letter? All right. Mr. Shark, Mr. Shark, what did you eat? Miss K is going to reach in. Good job. It's the letter X, but it's, is it uppercase or lowercase? This is one of the ones that looks the same. So what do you think? Do you think it's an uppercase or a lowercase? I'll put it, this, I'll move this T down. I'll put it beside the letter G. Oop. Is that it? Yes. It's not sticking up. There we go. Oop. There we go. So what do you think, my friend? Do you think it's as big as the letter G or do you think it's a little bit lower down? It's a little bit lower down. So it's the lowercase x. Remember, it's very, it's very important to make sure that your size is the right size. All right, ready? Mr. Shark, under the sea, Miss K is going to reach in and let us see. Is this a letter or a number? This one's kind of tricky because it could be a letter, but it's not really a circle for the O. An O is usually a big round 
circle. This is a zero. This is a number. We put it over there. It's a number. The number zero. That's the first number. All right, are you ready? Mr. Shark under the sea. What did you eat? Miss Kay is gonna reach in and let us see. a letter. Good job. And is it an uppercase or a lowercase? It is a, lo a lowercase. That's right. A lowercase. Okay, let's see my friends. Ready? Mr. Shark under the sea. What did you eat? Miss Kay's gonna reach in and let my favorite. What do you think? Is it a letter or a number? It's a number, that's right. A circle and a line makes the number nine. That's my favorite number. All right, you ready? Mr. Shark, under the sea, what did you eat? Miss Kay is gonna reach in and see what, and let us see. Is that my friends? It is a letter or a number? A letter, good job. And is it uppercase or lowercase? Uppercase, and it's the letter V. Good job, it's the letter V. All right, Mr. Shark, Mr. Shark, under the sea. and let us see. Oh, there we go. What do you think, my friends? Come right down and that is fun. That's how you make the number one. It's a number and it's the number one. Good job. Mr. Shark, underneath the sea, what did you eat? Miss Kay is gonna reach in and see and let us see. Oh, what is that, my friends? Oh, it is a letter or a number. A letter, good job, it's a letter. And it's the uppercase E. Good job, it's an uppercase E. There we go. So boys and girls, on our page, it says that we are going to color all of our letters red. All of our numbers are going to be colored yellow. So now it's your job to look at each fish and decide, is it a number or is it a letter? That's right, and make sure that you color it the right color. And you're going to put your name up at the top of the page. And then I have one last song to you to do with you. And it's a our shark song. Are you ready? Get five little fishies ready. Ready? Five little fishies swimming in the sea. <gasps> Teasing Mr. Sharky. You can't catch me. Four little fishies swimming in the sea, teasing Mr. Sharky. You can't catch me. Along came Mr. Sharky, quiet as can be. And he snapped up a fish right out of the sea. Along came Mr. Sharky, quiet as can be, and he 
and Mr. Sharky. You can't catch me. One little fish, she's swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Sharky, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Sharky, quiet as can be. And he snapped up a fish right out of the sea. Along came Mr. Sharky, as lonely as can be. Cause he snapped up his friends right out of the sea. Silly Mr. Sharky. Should you eat your friends? No, no, no. He's so sad now. Maybe he will learn. No biting your friends. That's right. All right. Boys and girls, this is the end of this cyber circle, but I will see you back here on Wednesday. Yeah, we'll get together again on Wednesday. Oh, the submarine is coming. See you soon. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, the submarine is coming. See you soon. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, the submarine is coming. The submarine is coming. The submarine is coming. See you soon. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, we'll say goodbye to all the girls. See you soon. Oh, we'll say goodbye to all the boys. See you soon. Oh, we'll say goodbye to everyone. Bloop, 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 bloop. See you on Wednesday. We'll say goodbye to everyone. Bloop, 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 bloop. See you on Wednesday. I love you. Until I see you on Wednesday, stay safe and healthy. Mwah. See you soon. <laughs>